find the moment at O due to the force at A. The magnitude of the force at A is 10 kilonewtons. We want to find out how that tends to turn point O and point C. First thing we have to do is identify, preferably in a nice list, exactly what our points of interest are. So the point at O is just at the origin. That would be 0, 0, 0. The point at C is at 0.12 meters out the x-axis. So x is going to be 0.12, y is 0, and z is 0. So that's the Cartesian point at C. The point at A is out the, the y-axis, but does not go either out x or out z. So you're going to have 0, 0.25, 0 for A. The other point of interest is up here. It doesn't have a label, so let's call it D. D is the point that is out in all three dimensions. In this case, it's out 0.12 in the x direction, 0.25 in the y direction, and point up 0.1 in the z direction. So these are the Cartesian points of interest in our diagram. What we want to say is that A goes from point A to point D. Now we can use the position vector to find A in Cartesian form. It's going to have the magnitude, 10 kilonewtons, times the unit vector that goes from A to D. The unit vector is going to be the position vector divided by its magnitude. Position vector 2, 2 minus from, so 2D mi minus from A. I'm going to take D and subtract A. So I'm going to have 0.12I, 0J, and plus 0.1K. Double check. Does that make any sense? Is A going up? Should K be a positive number? Yes, A is going up. So J should, uh, K should be a positive number, and it is. Now that's the position vector from A to D. We can't say that A is equal to this until we divide by the magnitude of the position vector, which in this case is 0.12 squared plus 0.1 squared. Now you can multiply all that out and you get A in Cartesian form. A is equal to 7.68222i plus 6.4018k. To find the moment at O or at C, in either case the moment is going to be R cross A, but we are going to have different values for R. R is the vector that goes from the point we're taking the moment about, so in this case either O or C, to the point of application of A. So R1 is going to go from O to, from point O to point A. R2 is going to go from point C to point A. Remember, 2 minus from. So R1 is 2A, that would be 0, minus 0, I, plus 0.25 minus 0, J, plus 0 minus 0, K. Does that make sense? If you go from O to A, are you in fact going out 0.25J? And yes, you are. So that makes some sense. We've gotten the position vector right. From C to A, we're going to take C minus A. That gives us actually, uh, excuse me, A minus C. 0 minus 0.12I plus 0.25J. And both of the K components are 0. So we're going to have plus 0 minus 0K. This is two non-zero components. I have a negative x direction and a positive j direction. So to go from point C to point A, I'll draw it on here. This is R2. R2 goes from C to A. Now we can take the cross product. The moment at O is the cross product I, J, K. R goes on top, 0, 0.25, 0. A goes on the bottom. This is 7.6822, 6.40180. And the moment at C is very similar but has a different value for R. That's going to be negative 0 0.12, 0 0.250, and the same value for A. We can take those cross products and get the moment.